From Charlotte to communities across the world, one nonprofit has found a unique way to lend some help for the holiday season. Queen City News reporter Maureen Wart shows us how the group found a way to reach all shoppers while giving some hope too. Though the weather is dreary. Yes, it is a little cold. <laughs> and the rain cold? Yes. Yeah. We used to live in Gilbert, Arizona. Okay, I'm from there. There's still plenty of light to be found all inside a red trailer. We could buy some chickens? Chickens, a pillow and blanket. It's a different kind of vending machine. Let's get a beehive. Get One where your purchase goes to someone who needs help. Some options are those here in Charlotte, others all over the world. Do you want to push the buttons up? Amelia Friend and her family plan to make this a yearly tradition, in part because of the two girls they have in their arms. We struggled to get pregnant for a long time, and we always love to adopt a family and do shopping for their, their kids because we didn't have any kids to buy for. So it may be small, but that's all the light that's needed to make a difference. In Charlotte, Maureen Wirtz, Queen City News. How great to see that. More than 400 people have already donated just this week alone, and the vending machine will remain at the shopping center through Saturday. And there are options from $5 to $150.